What's up guys? Superstars separate themselves from average Joes in many different ways. Not only are they world class and athletically gifted talents, but the top stars in the sporting universe hardly ever mess up. Of course, to turn pro, you have to avoid making a series of mistakes. If you keep doing it over and over again, and it's adios. But even the greatest superstars in the world make that one mistake from time to time. And because these guys are among the greatest in the world, their bloopers become even more memorable and obviously much more embarrassing. No athlete is perfect. And we have 10 prime examples right here for you. So let's get to these embarrassing plays from current superstars. Make sure to subscribe to TPS and put on your notifications because we post videos all the time. New videos all the time. Subscribe. Number 10, Russell Wilson's awful throwaway. The Seattle Seahawks hosted the Minnesota Vikings in a pivotal Week 14 Monday night game during the 2018 season. Both clubs were in tight races for the two NFC wildcard spots, and mistakes could not be made in this one. But oh, there were plenty of them. The Seahawks and Vikings turned in tremendous efforts on defense and pretty terrible performances on offense. Now the Seahawks went on to win this game 21-7 and they wound up making the postseason, while the Vikings finished a disappointing 8-7-1 to miss out on the party. But good news, Vikings fans. Your team didn't make the worst blooper of the night. Rather, that dishonor belongs to Seattle quarterback Russell Wilson. The Seahawks were leading the game 3-0 in the waning seconds of the second quarter. They had the ball at the Minnesota one-yard line, but Seattle was out of timeouts. Wilson had to be careful with the ball. He's usually money in these situations. But this time, Wilson got way too cute and set the record for the worst throwaway pass in NFL history. First and goal, sprint right, looking over his options, nearly lost his footing. You cannot take a sack, as we just talked about, and the ball... Wilson only threw seven interceptions in 2018. But without a doubt, this was hands down his absolute worst. Number nine, Brad Martian's costly defensive laps. The Boston Bruins met the St. Louis Blues in an epic back and forth Stanley Cup final. Bruins superstar Brad Marchand was arguably the team's best player during the 2019 postseason, tallying 9 goals and 23 points in 24 games. However, Marchand picked the worst possible time to have a defensive lapse and some miscommunication with his Bruins teammates. Boston was trailing 1-0 at home in the waning minutes of the opening period of Game 7. The superstar forward was trying to make a line change, but he allowed Jaden Swartz to dangle right by him. That set up a nifty pass to Blues defenseman Alex Petrangelo, who scored a slick goal to put the Blues up 2-zip. Brad Marchand, he's dead tired. He looks and says, OK, I got a chance to change. Instead, no change is made, keeps the puck alive, takes a quick look back. The Bruins and their thousands of screaming fans at TD Garden were left stunned after that. The Blues' relentless forecheck and shutdown defense held off Boston from then on out. They scored two more in the third period and won 4-1, to one, capturing the first Stanley Cup in their team's history. As for Martian, well, he's going to have a tough time living with that one. How do you blow a routine line change at such a critical moment? Two words. Superstar fail. Number 8. Chris Paul's botched layup. All-star point guard Chris Paul is going to find himself in the Basketball Hall of Fame someday. Few guards have displayed Paul's tremendous skill set, namely his incredible ball handling talents, speed, agility, and overall playmaking abilities. Paul took part in the Skills Challenge at the 2011 All-Star Weekend in Los Angeles. He went up against Steph Curry, 2011 League MVP Derrick Rose, Russell Westbrook, and John Wall. Needless to say, it wasn't Paul's day, as evidenced by his Ms. Gimme of a layup during the skills challenge obstacle. On the bright side, Paul's botch got Westbrook and Curry laughing harder, and it was the Golden State star who wound up winning the event. I haven't seen one guy really bust out as they go through the pile. Oh, here we go now, Chris Paul. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly where he lost it. He lost his whole concentration on that layup. It probably helped that Steph didn't miss no easy layup. Number seven, Jonathan Quick's own goal. Los Angeles Kings goalie Jonathan Quick was a vital piece of the team's 2012 and 14 Stanley Cup championships. Quick won the Conn Smythe Award in the former year, which is handed annually to the MVP of the playoffs. Quick is renowned for his fast reflexes and, well, his ultra-quick reactions. But in an October 2013 home game against the New York Rangers, Quick became a national highlight reel for all the wrong reasons when he gave up an embarrassing short-handed goal that put his team down by two in the third period. 0 for 1 with no shots. Now the Kings with a chance to tie it up. And it deflected off of Quick into the net. Oh my God. The Kings wound up losing the game, but coincidentally enough, they would face the Rangers in the Stanley Cup final that same season. This time, Quick didn't allow any terrible own goals. And the Kings won in five games to capture their second championship in three years. Number six, Philip Rivers' friendly fire versus Bills. 
Los Angeles Chargers quarterback Phillip Rivers is practically a lock for the Pro Football Hall of Fame. The perennial Pro Bowler has been one of the game's most prolific signal callers for over a decade. And without him, the Chargers franchise would be in complete disarray. But it seems like poor Mr. Rivers is the occasional victim of some very unfortunate bounces. From botch naps to seeing his team blow all those playoff games over three years, Rivers just never seems to have anything go his way. Case in point when the Chargers hosted the Buffalo Bills in the 2011 regular season game. In the third quarter, Rivers was being chased towards his own end zone. And uh, let's just say he committed the absolute worst pass of his career. And it was an embarrassing case of friendly fire. Halftime score 16 0 San Diego. Third and seven now in the third quarter. Oh, Philip Rivers. Bill! Back Yikes. to his old days. <laughs> that, was, that was the first <laughs> month of the season play, yes. wasn't it? Rivers has made plenty of great passes during his storied career. This was not one of them. Number five, Ryan Gretzlaff's costly no-look pass. When he retires, there's a great chance that Ryan Gretzlaff will be viewed as the greatest player in Anaheim Ducks history. Gretzlaff is instrumental in leading Anaheim to a Stanley Cup championship in 2007, and he's bound for the Hockey Hall of Fame when his illustrious career ends. Gretzlaff has always been a responsible two-way player throughout his career, but in a November 2015 home game against the Arizona Coyotes, Gretzlaff made a brutal miscue that cost his team the game. Gretzlaff skated past center ice and performed the fancy no-look through the legs drop pass. The move looked genius if it works, but unfortunately for Gretzlaff, this one totally backfired. Coyote speedster Mikhail Bodker took advantage of the opportunity and scored a beautiful breakaway goal in overtime to secure the win for the visitors. You gotta take this to the Coyote's ace in the hole. Take it away and Bodker will pick it off and he comes in on Anderson. Not so Gretzlaff like on that play. The silver lining here is that it wasn't a playoff game, and the Ducks would go on to win the Pacific Division that same season. Still, it couldn't have been a fun 24 hours for Gretzlaff, who became a blooper highlight sensation for a brief period. Number four, Julio Jones drops gimme touchdown. Julio Jones has been the NFL's most consistently dominant wide receiver in the 2010s. The man is the complete package with great size, physicality, hands, speed, athleticism, and agility. He's been the biggest nightmare to cover one-on-one -on -one since Randy Moss in his prime. There's no easy way to shut down Jones, although we do have some advice for opposing defensive backs. Don't let Jones get behind you for easy touchdowns. Well, the Carolina Panthers secondary somehow managed to break that rule in a Week 9 2017 matchup against Jones and the Falcons. Only this time, Carolina somehow got away with it. The Falcons were trailing 20-10 to midway through the fourth quarter, and they decided to go for it on a fourth and seven. Jones sprinted past the Carolina secondary and had the easiest touchdown of his life right there. It was in the palm of his hands, but he couldn't hold on. Soft coverage. Ryan airs it out. The Panthers would hang on for a 20-17 victory, while Jones sent his millions of fantasy football owners into complete agony and frustration. We wonder how many fantasy games around the world came down to that one mistake by Jones. Probably a lot. Number three, Mike Trout drops routine fly ball. Nothing can be said about Los Angeles star Mike Trout that hasn't been said already. He's an annual all-star and he took home the American League MVP in 2014 and 16. Trout's among the league's leaders in every major stat on an annual basis. His wins above replacement numbers are filthy. The dude is sick. No other way to put it. Trout doesn't make many mistakes in center field. If anything, he makes way more jaw-dropping plays than miscues. But in a 2016 road game against the Los Angeles Dodgers, Trout shocked the world when he botched a routine fly ball that allowed the home team to score a run. Weaver delivers that, swung on and hammered to center. Back goes Trout to the track at the wall and drops it. The run scores. Not the brightest moment for the best player in the world. Number two, LeBron James blows easy game-winning layup. You know how we said teams shouldn't have Julio Jones wide open for easy touchdowns? Well, in the NBA, we don't think you should let LeBron have a clean lane for an easy layup, especially in the waning seconds of a close game. In a February 2017 road contest against the Washington Wizards, James and the Cavaliers were down by a point with 12.2 seconds left. James dribbled up the court and made a nice move to set up a routine layup, but he somehow botched it. Expected to put his head down and get to the basket. James weaving, driving, moving, and... Way up, no good! LeBron missed! LeBron missed! Okay, so the play was super embarrassing. Except James redeemed himself by hitting a clutch three-pointer to force overtime before the buzzer. And the Cavaliers went on to win a wild one, 140-135. 
So all was forgiven in the land. Number one, Tom Brady's drop in Super Bowl 52. Tom Brady and the New England Patriots met the Philadelphia Eagles in Super Bowl 52, looking to win their second straight title and their sixth overall in the 21st century. In the second quarter, with the Eagles up 9-3, the Patriots forced a crucial third and five situation. Josh McDaniels called up a genius trick play that previously worked against the Eagles in a 2015 meeting. James White took the handoff, flipped it over to Danny Amendola, who then threw it to a wide open Brady, but wouldn't you know it, even goats screw up. Nobody's perfect. Meanwhile, third down and five here. And now you got to flip back here to Danny Whoa. Amendola who throws and it's Brady who can't pull it in. Oddly enough, Nick Foles, the other quarterback in this game, caught a touchdown pass on the Philly special trick play. So yeah, the game kind of came down to Brady dropping his routine pass and Foles catching his first touchdown. Isn't football fun? We're sure Brady has a few regrets when it comes down to his illustrious career, but we're sure he wishes he had one more chance to make that easy catch. But it's okay. I mean, he still has like six Super Bowls, so who cares? What other embarrassing plays made by current superstars should we have included on our list? Join me in the comment section below. Make sure to follow myself and TPS on social media. We post great content all the time. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post videos and pictures and stuff, so you should do that. Also, TPS right here. Go follow it. Do it. Okay, so uh, make sure to like this video because if you liked it, then you should physically like it. We really appreciate it. Subscribe to TPS because we post great content all the time. Of course, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jason Biondo. I'll see you next time. On my knee. Uh,